Why hello there, this is your good Thomas Friend 74 And what you see here is another item I got on eBay. It's in this uh, chewy box. It's some type of pet store. But what's inside here is actually a Trackmaster Generation 1 set. As you can see from this little info, the seller did say it's 100% complete and it will come with the original instructions. But let's see if that is true. I have already have opened up the tape here so we can take a look what's inside. Make this faster. Maybe I should stop doing that and actually open up the box physically. I think the reason why I don't do that is because it, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand even with Holding up with a phone and tearing it open. Well, let's take out all this. Oh, I see it. Hallelujah! This is the Trackmaster Bustling Railway Set. Oh boy. I can't wait to get this out and have it played with. This set actually has some stuff that I don't yet have. And this one. I'll hope I can find some good use for these. So, hold on a second. Ah yes, how can you resist of a good old classic Trackmaster Generation 1 set? Well, I think this set was released somewhere in 2013. But, let's take a look around this. Two exciting actions. Which is actually for Thomas going into the tunnel and this co-hopper. You also got a signal box and Ellsbridge Station. There are some other parts that I have not yet have, and I want to take a good look at this. Now, most of you have probably already seen this action, but it's time for me to experience this. And if you look right there, well, I actually cut the tape off of this one so you can see better. It says only at Kmart. Um, I think this is just only for the United States, as this product is only available at Kmart in the U.S. And sometimes it wouldn't say that from other areas, like I think even Canada and Australia, it wouldn't say that. But if you live in the U.K., it's going to be under Smith's Toys. You can only purchase over there if you're in the U.K. Well... See, from this side, we have Bustling Railway. Uh, it's kind of upside down, but it's Bustling Railway. Here is the info date, and, well, I was right. It says 2013. And there's your contents list. Well... I should go ahead and open this. Now, this set is obviously used. It has already been played with. But, I want to take a look at the contents of myself. So, we got Thomas. And this truck. Ah, the original instructions. Oh, man. And some goodness coming out. Oh, Manny. Okay, how about this? Oh, careful, man. Oh, I think that's all. Uh, yes, this was hovering, uh, hiding the delay when it's building up Thomas. Okay. Okay, I... I should go ahead and organize this now. So here it is. This is what the box all contains. So, we got the original instructions. Riser, a co-hopper, a specialized tunnel. This part here goes for this one. The signal box, Ellsbridge Station few bits of track, some special ones that I finally have received. 
this coal chute, Thomas and this specialized coal truck. This looks like it's a good chunk. And I will go in for each individual piece and how they work like right now. Let's first start off with this truck because most of you probably want to see this one. Now this truck is one of a kind and I'm glad to have one of these because this has the feature right here to have the load from empty to full by doing a rotation. When it rotates, it becomes coal. And now that I have this, looks like there's a bit of weight inside this piece to do a good job. And how that rotates is underneath, at the front here, there's a gear inside. It looks like it's a tad stiff. Maybe because it hasn't been played yet. But when it turns, this spins. And this goes into the special types of actions coming into the set. Like this coal station here. See the switch right here? It says it's only on the up position. You can turn that off to down. And this little tab here is already down. Flip the switch back up, raises that tab, and following the direction of the arrow, it can only go this direction. And doing that works its magic. But inside, is these pieces are extended. You want to know why, how that works? Well, there's uh, another piece. It's a specialized right points that also has the same studs. And here's how those tabs work on the coal loader. It's simply by this. Well, it doesn't take much force or much speed in this case. To actually fail the colon process. Because it's doing a lot more than it should be. So that's why it has these parts here on the coal loader, so it doesn't mess up the magic process. And uh, you want to know what this piece is meant for? This tunnel piece right here. Because it also uses the specialized points, it even has those extended pieces making sure that the magic works properly on this. Like so. Now let's take a look at the tunnel. Uh, I do have the coal chute, it's right there. It's very nice and there's your imprint of having the right points and this specialized water piece I'm not too sure what that's for um, here it is this is the coal chute um, it says right there Crovens Gate Mine and uh, I think the seller uh, when he got the pre when he previously got the set he kind of made a little bit of a mistake where he put uh, Coven's Gate Mine at the top here. It should be right here. But on the other side, they the seller fixed it. But come to think of it, 
That's actually a good location. That's also appropriate location as well, even though it would be right here. It fits perfectly right here. It is a kind of an interference fits, but uh, it can work. Just a little force. Ooh. That sounds very weird, but there you go. You tired of Crovin's Gate Mine Tunnel with the coal suit and having it. Oh! Hey, that's actually good. I think that's why the seller put this on that top there, so you could still see the sign. Hmm, clever thinking. And now, next up, we have these two accessories you seen from the Hit Toy series, like this old signal box with this stair piece. There you go. I'll move this aside. Let's take a look at this signal box. This looks like what you see in the show of Thomas and Friends. The amount of detail they put into this is just amazing. Uh, some of the stickers are of course peeling off because this is an old toy. It's been around for a long time and this set of course has already been played with but Manny, what amazements. And this one here is Ellsbridge Station. Looking it around, you got the usual sign, but surprisingly, they have another sticker and they put it on the other side. Which is usually you only have one sticker only on one side. But if we take a look around Ellsbridge Station, There are a lot of screws inside this one, meaning that this is one entire piece, the roof is a separate piece, the chimney is a separate piece, and even this green tarp here is a separate piece. Well, the windows are just stickers, and these doors are painted. And it fits into this platform right here. So here it is, here is the entire set fully assembled, and this one does have some good comings. So right there we got the entire how it works. It's basically two ovals connected in one, if you are perpendicular. And Thomas with the flipping, uh, coal car, Ellsbridge station, the coal station, the tunnel, and the signal box. And it's a very nice loop of track, made up of a straight track, full straight, half straight, quarter straight, and um, this little piece here. I need to talk about this one. This, you need to be very careful with this one, because this is not a quarter inch straight track. It's actually more smaller than a quarter inch track. It's a sixth inch track. I do have a spare quarter inch track right here. And compared to that to this, you can see one major net. This has four railway ties. This one has three. Even smaller than this. So be very careful when using sets at what short piece of track you're using because this is more smaller than this. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of turned on the light on accident on the phone. But, uh, with that said, we can go ahead and give it a shot. And this is actually how the functionality of the set would be. I did put a battery inside Thomas and it does work. Look at that! That's perfectly! Uh, the gear sometimes is stiff on this one, so that is prone to happen. Okay.
a little bit higher. You change the points. a very nice simple operated set. I should now go over the instructions about the bustling railway set because there's some things that are very bizarre in this one. Going over page by page, there's some things that I notice. If you know about track Mansion generation 1 sets a lot, the tunnel doesn't say coal mine, it says copper mine. There was a set out there that is called Copper Mine Set, which is the same functionality. And some of these do look familiar to y'all. That's the entire of the layout. And there's the how the functionality work and says for best results, point track arrow in the direction the engine is traveling and switch cargo flip button located beneath track up. When button is up, cargo car will flip from empty to full and back again. When button is down, flip feature is turned off, as I've already showed you. And take a look at these two images. You see that this one actually has a another right point, and this curve track, but it looks like this, this piece here, looking like that that's a left ramp. And the Thomas they show, it looks like it's a 2006 Thomas. You wanna know why? Because this is reused images from another set called Thomas at Echo Cave. And they just reuse the images. But no, they only show the tunnel piece, the signal, and the station. They forgot to mention the coal loader. As if the set was not ever meant to have the coal loader. In mine, but at the last second they kinda had did. And this back here showing the battery installation of Thomas. Now, on the risk of showing other variants of this, this coal truck actually relies on both of these features the coal station and the tunnel piece. As in, those are the only two destinations that work with this specialized truck that flips from empty to full. Now there are many many sets that out there that does have the similar similar feature. The first one is, as I said before, Thomas at Echo Cave, which is the first set to ever have the tunnel piece. And Thomas at the coal station that actually has that coal station there. And it's actually in, still in the same color. It's even it's orange. So that's that. Well, about Thomas at Echo Cave, I think that set was only sold in the UK and Australia. I don't think America ever had that set. Well, we did got the standalone version of the entire pack for US and Canada. And then later on, they made the Arthur at the Copper Mine set, which is basically tunnel and flip car, but with Arthur and Santa Can Coles carrying copper. Another version out there is called the Blue Mountain Gravel Delivery, which is also uses the tunnel and flip car, but appropriately themed to Blue Mountain Quarry. And of course there's this set, the Bustling Railway set, but there's one other version out there that 
Trackmaster Generation 2 had re-released this set completely. And instead of uh, Signal Box and Ellsbridge Station, you get two guard bridges. And I have been told that that version can work both directions on the flip feature. If that's the case, that's one unique feature about Trackmatch Gen 2 that they actually went with. Having both features, having the feature of the flip card to work on both directions, when then Trackmatch Gen 1 only has one direction. Well, thank you all for watching this specialized video of me getting the Trackmaster Bustling Railway Set and have it 100% complete, even. Well, thank you all for watching.